Welcome to Falcon's Ledge. I'm Allstringer, and today we are going to be doing our initial impressions and installation of the WinWing FSSB modules for the Orion 2 joystick. I had a bit of audio issues, so I've had to re record that, but we have the video, so let's go. To start, we'll have to remove the stick from the base. Sorry for all the clutter on the desk, but we've got a lot of things going on on the channel right now. Now that we've removed the stick from the base, so we're going to remove the existing cams and springs as well as the damper kit here. So we'll start with the dampers. Now that we've removed the damper kit on one axis, we're gonna move on and remove the spring and cam kit on one axis as well. We'll move on to remove the spring and cam kit from the next axis. Now that we've got that removed, we will come over here and remove the damper kit from this axis. The first part of the FSSB kit that we're gonna install is the main board. As you can see here, the main board has two connectors, a three pin connector and a four pin connector. We're going to first attach the cables to the board and then we're going to attach the board to the gimbal. We'll be able to move these cables through the slot here and route them behind the other circuit board. The three pin connector connects right over here. In the Winwing kit, we have these washers that have a concave and a convex side. In the instructions, it says that we should install these convex side out on all of these posts. All right, now that we have this installed and it's secure, we can see that these cables are nicely routed through the split in the circuit board and they come out on the other side. Now that we've completed that, we're going to install what they call the accessory board. We're first going to connect the four pin connector to it and then slide it over the post just as the previous board was installed. Uh, the next piece that we're going to install here is the spring kit. The spring kit provides re resistance in the center of the stick before it contacts the four sensing sensors. Uh, this is going to be the piece that actually provides you the, the center feel of the stick and it's going to keep those axes centered when you don't have any pressure on them. When wing does provide additional spring plates, as you can see here, and these can be installed here in order to give it more resistance on the center. In the full review, I will have a video that will include how to install these. Now we move on to the final part, which is another spring plate for the other axis. We're going to install this in the same way that we did the previous one. So now that we have all of our modules installed, we can do a quick look over to make sure that we have everything installed properly and that everything is tightened down appropriately. And now it's time to reinstall the stick grip. Now that our stick is installed, we'll just quickly test our axis 
And just so you know, this doesn't move very much and it's going to have quite a bit of resistance once you overcome that initial resistance from the spring plates. Now comes the difficult part. We have to center everything. What we're going to do is we're going to take these spring sections, which have little grub screws that are uh, lock screws. They lock the set screw that's on the inside out. So you have to remove the lock screws and then adjust the set screws. Our goal here is to get the axis roller centered between the two force sensing plates. As you can see on this axis, it's already pretty centered, so we're not going to adjust this one. We will move on to the other. On this axis, we have the same situation where we have the springs with the set screws, and we'll flip it over and we're gonna check the other side. Now it does look like this one is oriented a little bit to the front of the axis, so we've got to get that centered. So let's come over here and we're going to remove the lock screws and then loosen the set screws behind them. This is going to loosen up that axis because it's not going to have any pressure on that spring system in the center. So we flip it over and we check to see where we need to have the stick in order to get our centered status. And then we'll flip it over and we're going to slowly tighten down each side until we can get that roller on the other side centered. And once we do, we'll then need to tighten down those two set screws so that it remains centered. In this case, we had to move it ever so slightly to the back. In order to do that, we're going to just tighten that front set screw a little bit more. Once that front set screw is tightened, we'll push the rear one in a bit just to snug everything up and do the same with the front. We do that last adjustment in approximately the same number of turns so that we don't change where that roller is in relation to those plates. Now we're going to reinstall the lock screws and they'll go snugly up against those set screws. So now we'll go through and we'll double check our configuration here. Now, little did I know but from the factory, three of the pivot screws in this gimbal were loose. This caused me an enormous amount of headache. So the footage that you're seeing here is actually a couple of days after I got the device because the first two days were spent recalibrating, disassembling, reassembling the gimbal because every time that I would use it, the axis would tend to drift and it would always be the Y axis and it would always drift back towards me. I didn't know at the time why that was happening, but when I completely disassembled the gimbal to try to find out what it was inside that was causing this to happen, I found those three loose screws that were on the pivot point, the bearing of the uh, gimbal itself. So. When I tightened those down, I was then able to keep that centered. The first few flights of this thing were really bad because every time that it started to drift, I was having to hold pressure forward, which created a situation where I was causing myself lots of pilot-induced oscillation. Now comes the part where I have to spend a whole bunch of time getting used to flying this way because it isn't the same as flying a spring and cam gimbal. It There's just a totally different feel. I'm feeling like I'm having to completely relearn how to fly the F-16. Now, your results may vary in terms of how quickly you get used to it and whatnot, but you know, this is my experience of it. I've decided not to include the review of the FSSB in with the full review of the product. 
main reason for that is one, I would have to delay it an additional month and I don't want to do that. But the more important reasoning behind this is that I'm going to be comparing the Orion 2 to a whole lot of other sticks that are available on the market. And most of these sticks, or all of them rather, don't have FSSB. So it's really not a fair comparison and it may be unfair towards the Orion 2, or it may be unfair towards the other products. We don't quite know that yet. But I want to try to give you guys the most accurate and most objective review comparing this to other products. So uh, in order to do that, I'm not going to include the FSSB in the main review, but I will review it separately. And hopefully in the future, we'll have some other FSSB products to compare it to. Um, and I will give you guys all of the information and all of my feelings on the subject at that time. But uh, that will come soon. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video below. Subscribe to the channel. It really does help me and I really do enjoy the interaction that I get to have with you guys. Uh, we have tons of really awesome videos coming soon. We've got our Orion 2 video, which should be out fairly soon. We have the uh, FSSB video. We've got a video that's featuring the uh, Reverb G2. Um, in addition, we have two Maker series coming, and you guys are going to like these. We've got one that's doing uh, toe breaks on the VKB T rudder. I've already got those printed out. I've also got the Apache Collective, which guess what? We've received all the parts, which means that video is coming really soon. So, if you want to get merch, we've got merch now. The merch is our We Blow Stuff Up Here merch. You can find the link for that in the description below as well. Fly safe, have fun, and as always, have a great day.